bargain's finished. I've done my part. I want out now. Yes, I'm sure, damn it. What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, what's happening? No, wait. There has to be another way. Ah! Mr. Manning, may I? Logan, come in. Got a case for you. We matched the disappearance of tourists in Ohio with a local legend. There's a staircase 10 miles from Bowling Green that leads to nowhere. Object 2427. Hmm, I've heard something about it. Was there anything else, Mr. Manning? Yes, uh, just, just be careful, Agent Hardy. Thank you, sir. The director of our site, Kurt Manning, was a great man. I served with him in Iraq, and even with years of service, he didn't make the old soldier cynical or callous. He truly cared about every individual agent and was like a father to them. Yo, buddy, I hope this is worth the five bucks. You said this would be something crazy. This place is absolutely incredible, I promise you. Is that it? No, it's just the entrance. Just hold on to this and go in. What is this? Your entrance ticket. Well, move it. What the hell? What? Not chickening out, are you? I'm warning you, the payment is non-refundable. <laughs> Chicken? You don't know me at all, pal. No. I know exactly who you are, sinners. They're gone, sir. We'll get them when they come back. Keep an eye on the stairs. Yes, sir. Figured I'd get some sleep while they were waiting. <laughs> Here, May. They belong to him. Adam would have wanted you to have them. <laughs> he died a hero, didn't he? May, your fiancé, was one of the bravest men I knew. You can be proud of him. Sir, someone's coming down. Damn, why is he alone? Grab him. Derek Fisher, temporarily unemployed. No fixed place of residence, is that right? Huh, is that a crime? We're not accusing you of anything, for now. So, tell me, how'd you find that place? The stairs to the attic, by accident. I was on a picnic with some friends and came across them. The attic? Yeah, there's a lot of strange things and nobody's in there. Where are the people that went in with you? They liked the attic so much that they decided to stay. Really? Dude, I just take tourists there for money. I haven't done anything wrong. Why don't we take a little trip then, huh? We didn't waste any time and proceeded to Object 2427 immediately. The task force double-checked weapons and ammunition, and I packed a portable x-ray scanner. Huh, this'll come in handy. Here you go, Logan. We'll be in touch. Report everything to me once you're in. Of course, sir. Everyone, you know the drill. Stay close and watch each other's six. You won't get through without this. And this is? Hemlock. It's a plant. Don't ask me. I don't know how it works. You paid me to show you something, so let's move on. At first glance, the place was no different than any ordinary country club. Derek, where are the tourists you brought here? Over there, right where the sinners belong. Hmm. Let's check it out, move. Just ordinary trees, sir. Aspens, I think. But something was off. We x-rayed the roots of the trees and... The hell? Why do they look like people? Look! They're moving! This guy was clearly not who he was pretending to be. Handcuff him, and don't take your eyes off him. Yes, sir. Do you think the people of that Iraqi village have forgiven you? 
How could he know that? Damn it. Party to Manning. The operation is going according to plan. But this guy, Derek, something's not right about him. The building on site turned out to be abnormal as well. Huge on the outside, but on the inside, only had a foyer and three rooms. One of which held strange documents. Mr. Manning, it seems to be a list of everything in the attic. The liar's cradle, laden cumulus, purge engine, confessionary. What even is all this? Logan, scan the documents and send them over. Yes, sir. We also discovered that the attic belongs to the Brazen Heart Cult. Have you heard of it? Hmm. I believe it was a Moloch worshipping cult eradicated during the Spanish Inquisition 200 years ago. Well, it seems someone's continuing their work. Hmm. What do we have here? I had just finished scanning and sending over the documentation I had found to Manning, when all of a sudden... Watch out! What's going on? Ralph opened the door, and this thing came out! <laughs> the prophet of purity. It consumes the impure. Move it, smart guy. Everyone fall back to the snare. Bad idea. Shut up. Shit. What was that? A leaden cloud. It won't let you out. Damn it. No. Ah! Seems the purge engine has opened. Oh, God damn it. Oh, oh. Mr. Manning, do you copy? Copy, Logan. What's happening? Everyone is dead. I, I'm the only one left. Uh, the attic is jam-packed with deadly objects. I can't get out. An abnormal cloud is firing at everyone who approaches the stairs. Calm down, Logan. We'll study the documents and find you a way out. Over and out. Uh, I'll never live this down. My fellow soldier's dead. Derek's disappeared. The mission plan couldn't have gone worse. Your task is to lead your squad in and clear the village of Alpendro. But that's a civilian-occupied village, sir. Old people, women, children. That's just a cover. They're hiding extremely volatile chemical weapons there. Are you doubting our intelligence, son? No, I... And you, Sergeant Hardy? Uh, no, no, sir. Then why the hell are you both still here? Dismissed! No, this doesn't feel right at all, man. I can feel it. Orders are orders, Adam. Logan, do you copy? You good? What's your sit rep? Nothing new. And I'm holding up, sir. We've read through the documents, and it looks like there may be a way to get you out. You're gonna have to go through the anomalies, though. I'll do anything to get out of here. Right. Then turn your back to the sun. Find your two o'clock and walk until you reach puddles of tears. Whatever that means. Got it, sir. I'll be in touch, over and out. Damn, could sure use some luck right now. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, it burns! The liquid was corrosive. Acid rain? I fell into a puddle and... You son of a bitch! There weren't any chemical weapons there! You got an order to clear that territory for an oil pipeline! Adam, chill out! I'm warning you, Corporal Owen! I'd advise you to keep your mouth shut! I'm a peacekeeper, goddammit! You can't keep me quiet!
If your friend doesn't keep his mouth shut and the public finds out about this, we're all done for. Deal with him, Sergeant. <sighs> oh, why that memory? And why now? <sighs> Sir, do you copy? Copy. Are you okay? You've got to keep moving. The liar's cradle. Four o'clock. I tried avoiding the anomaly altogether, but it was as if I'd crashed into an invisible wall. I had to step through the center. God! I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lose everything because of you! You bastard! I trust you! <laughs> nice try. Not your smartest decision. Logan! Ah! Okay, I confess! The villagers died because of me! I killed my friend and lied to his fiance! Please! Please make it stop! I'm here. There should be a hatch inside! Open it! Come on, Logan. You're almost out. It felt like I'd been wandering for ages. Even the walkie-talkie wasn't working anymore. Hell, maybe I'm getting what I deserve. I'm sorry, Sergeant Hardy, but you can't go any further! You piece of shit! What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, the attic craves the impure! I... I killed him. What's that? Looks like a brand. The Confessor. I'd seen the name of that anomaly in the documents. So Derek was one of the objects in the attic? Of course! That's why he could come and go as he pleased. I had no choice but to move on. Then, footsteps behind me. No! Let me go. How are you feeling? I... I thought it through. He'll be better off in the orphanage. Did... did you give up your child? What? How would you know that? What was that? A hallucination? A consequence of visiting the anomalous site? Hey, watch it! This disposable committed suicide. He must have just felt, uh... Too guilty. What the hell? Why am I seeing everyone's vile deeds? You finally awake, son? Wh what happened to me? You were found lying unconscious by the side stairs. But how did I get out of the dungeon? It doesn't matter. Have you found the brazen heart? Uh, how did you... Logan? Is everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry, I... I... <clears throat> yes, the broken heart was there. And it fulfills wishes. Logan, the Foundation needs that object. It could be invaluable. I understand, sir. I'll organize a team to retrieve the Brazen Heart. Fine, but I'm coming with you this time. Of course, sir.
And so we went. I was the only one who knew what lay ahead and how it would all end. One of the soldiers was killed by the biomechanical monster. Run! Move! Move! The second soldier couldn't get past the puddles of tears. Your hand! Give me your hand! Leave him, Logan! We need to find the brazen heart! I was hoping that the liar's cradle wouldn't take the last soldier, but... No! No! I'm not guilty! <laughs> Guess you were lying, son! We were the only ones left. Kurt Manning didn't know that there was a field of the forgotten in front of the house, but I remembered it. Hurry up! <laughs> we're almost there! This is where your journey ends, Mr. Manning. I looked into your heart and saw you for what you really are. If your friend doesn't keep his mouth shut and the public finds out about this, we're all done for. Deal with him, Sergeant. It's done, General Manning. When will I get my share of the pipeline? <laughs> you see, two things, Joseph. First of all, I really like money. And secondly, I don't like to share. Ugh. The brazen heart shouldn't fall into the hands of such an impure person. Do you want to confess before you die? No! No! It's mine! Mine! Ah! 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 This is my purpose now to supply Object 2427 with impure sinners. Fortunately, the world isn't in short supply of those. <laughs> Any of you want to see something crazy? It'll only cost five bucks.